Hi everyone, first of all I need to say that my channel will be in English for now. It will always have English and Portuguese subtitles, but for now I want to create content in Portuguese. I hope you can understand. This mission month from K Influencer is about summer, the hottest season. Some cultural meanings can change, but in general we talk about long days, hot sun, beach, holiday, vacations. The entertainment industry tries to sell products with these meanings and emotions. In a globalized world, cultural standards is built, even with the geographic variations. For example, Brazil is a tropical country with many types of climates. But in most countries, Brazilian music is associated with summer, because this is the cultural symbol built. The funny thing is, when northern hemisphere countries are selling summer songs in mid-year, here in Brazil is winter. We consume these songs but ends up making a lot of sense in other contexts. Anyway, what makes a K-pop summer song? First, the American music industry created the summer hit concept, realizing that the entertainment market grew during this period. It's easy to know why. People have more time to consume and attend music events, especially the young audience, which in K-pop is the biggest. In the current context means more people engaging in social media and all the cultural meanings being explored. The general feature in a summer song is it needs to be very commercial which means be radio friendly and family friendly simple and easy to listen because you try to sell to a large audience accessible flashy and energetic not necessarily fast but upbeat and chill in the film the scenarios and the vibes of summer are evoked on lyrics all true elements from caribbean music and latin music in k-pop where mvs are crucial the cinematics explore warm and bright colors fun moments, the sense of joyness and friendship. Let's see some hits from this year. Starting with 17 Hot, the title is self-explained. An EDM song that evokes the American Western music. We often see cultural elements from some belt regions to represent a warm feeling. Being an electronic song, the MV shows neon colors and flashlights creating a summer night party. Next, they released World as a sequel and that summer party continues. One detail is that they use the typical blue and magenta combination, analogous colors often used in pop music videos. This palette dominated the visuals last decade when tropical house music was the thing, despite being cold colors, they form a triad with yellow, completing the harmony. It brings a freshness and party energy. Girl Generation Forever One uses this a lot. These songs about celebration and youth, pop by Nayong and up by Kepler, reveals the simplicity on the lyrics. Both use a easy to understand expression. Over and over and again, also the MV shows summer scenarios. Neon turned the blue and magenta skin more warm and mature in red and blue. It's still bright and fresh, but somehow contrasts with her cute singing and funny melody. With these examples, we can see that there are common features. But some things may differ, whether to diversify or add a new feature. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. I will always be bringing world music analysis and stories. See you soon. Bye.